to our channel where we bring you the latest news and updates from the world of tech. Today we have an important announcement for all Microsoft Power Apps users. So let's dive right in. As part of a recent service update aimed at enhancing security within Microsoft Power Apps, a decision has been made to remove jQuery version 2.1.1 from model-driven applications. This change is scheduled to take effect in October 2023. What does this mean for you? Well, if if you have custom code in web resources that relies on this particular library, it will no longer work once the library is removed. It's important to know that Microsoft does not support the use of any client-side code in modern driven applications, including the libraries that these applications depend on. These libraries can undergo changes without prior notice, so it's crucial to stay informed. Let's determine if you will be impacted by this change. Please search your web resource code for the following line. If you find this line in your code, it means your web resources are dependent on the soon to be removed jQuery library. If you have already done so, it is highly recommended that you export your solutions and extract their content into a source code repository. This will facilitate the process of searching for the line in question. Various tools are available for this purpose. And one popular option is using the search capability of Visual Studio Code. What should you do if you are indeed impacted by this change? Well, there are a couple of options available. Option number one, create a new JavaScript web resource containing minified version of jQuery. You can find the library at jQuery core all versions. By creating this new web resource, you'll be able to replace the reference to the soon to be removed jQuery library. Option number two, find the URL of the content delivery network, also known as CDN, that offers a new version of jQuery. One example is jQuery libraries CDN JS. By locating a CDN for the updated library, you can replace the reference to the old library with the new one. It's important to note that upgrading to a new version of jQuery may introduce breaking changes. Therefore, it is recommended that you consult jQuery core upgrade guides for information on how to safely upgrade your code. To sum it up, if you have custom code in your web resources relying on jQuery version 2.1 Point one in your model driven apps, it's time to take action. Either create a new JavaScript web resource with the updated library or find a suitable CDN hosting the new version of jQuery. That's all for today's update on the removal of jQuery 2.1.1 from model driven apps. Make sure to stay tuned for more technology news and updates by subscribing to our channel. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.